In this problem, we're going to use a sample of stock returns. And so we know this is a sample uh, because we have an observation for each year. So here we have seven observations in our sample. And so in this sample, we're going to estimate some uh, statistical quantities. Um, one, the expected return or the mean. The expected return is the same thing as the mean. And then we're also going to estimate the variance and standard deviation. Okay, so first things first, in order to estimate the variance and standard deviation, we have to estimate the mean. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do that first. So let's use an Excel spreadsheet uh, to do this calculation. So to, to, to estimate the mean then, we're just going to take the equal weighted average of all of these observations. So we want to average those. So how do we calculate the average? We sum them and then divide by the number of observations. I'm going to sum and I'll put it right there. And then I'm going to divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to divide by seven and put it right there in that cell. Equals sum. All of those. And here equals sum divided by seven. And there is my answer for expected returns. So this is the estimate for expected returns. So 0 0.0149. So expected return 0 0.0149. All right, next, let's estimate the variance. And so to estimate the variance, we need to think about its definition. And so that is the average squared deviation from the mean. Okay, so here's the mean. And so we're gonna go observation by observation, and calculate the difference between a return and the mean return, then square those. And then we're gonna take sort of an average. So I'm going to just copy the mean over uh, to this column. So I'm gonna say equal that cell right there. And we'll put dollar signs here so we can anchor it and copy it down. And so this is really just for ease of uh, calculations. So what we can see here is that for each one of these observations, I've got the return and the mean return, okay? so. For variance, we need to calculate deviations from the mean, and then we need to calculate squared deviations, and so uh, we'll just square them. And so first step is I'm gonna take the return and subtract the mean, and then I want to square it. So in this column over here, I will calculate the deviation. So again, that is just the observation, the observed return minus the mean. So here I've got equals this column minus the mean column. So there's my deviation for the first observation. Copy that down. Now I've got the deviation for each one of these in turn. And so now I need to square the deviation. So square column D so equals column D squared. Copy this down, all right? So I'm gonna take all of these and sum them and put them in that cell. And then I need to take sort of an average. And I say sort of an average because since we're dealing with a sample instead of an entire population, uh, we're not gonna divide by the number of observations. We're gonna divide by the number of observations minus one. Okay, so there's seven observations, so we're gonna divide by six. And so for here, for this cell, we're gonna divide by seven minus one or six. Okay, so here, that equals the sum of this column right here, 
And again, I'm going to divide that by 7 minus 1. So equals that column divided by 7 minus 1. And I have 0 0.00653. 0 0.00653. That is the variance. We have a variance. 0 0.00653. And then finally, the standard deviation or the volatility is just the square root of the variance. The so standard deviation is square root of that number. Which is point oh eight oh 